essentially a tool that allows users to develop visualizations, digital art, interactive animations, and video games for the web, Processing.js was worked on by CDOT for three years until its completion in 2012. However, this is only a small piece of the storied history and inevitable brilliant future for the programming software. It was in the mid-1990s when the wheels for Processing.js were set in motion. During their time with MIT, a developer named Ben Fry and an artist named Casey Reyes began working on Processing, a programming language and development environment that would be accessible and usable by non-traditional programmers such as artists, designers, scientists, and statisticians. Built on top of Java, the language allowed its users to create graphics and easily manipulate them. Processing is still used today in a variety of projects and development environments. However, it wasn't until 2008 that the next great step came to pass. In May of that year, John Resig, a computer programmer and entrepreneur best known for his work on jQuery, announced on his blog a processing-related project he had been working on for the past seven months. Using the Canvas element, an HTML5 element used to create dynamic scriptable rendering of 2D objects, he had ported the processing visualization language to JavaScript and dubbed it Processing.js. As is the case with many open source projects, the initial iteration of Processing.js was incomplete and abandoned. Its creator moved on to new projects, but not before it caught the eye of Ben Fry. With a strong interest in bringing Processing.js to the open web, the Mozilla Foundation and Ben brought the project to Seneca CDOT's doorstep. It was a massive undertaking, but in 2009, CDOT began working on completing the Processing.js language and development environment with the goal of having it run in any HTML5 compatible browser without the need for additional plugins. In 2012, the project was completed. Today, Processing.js is used in a wide variety of projects and tools, ranging from entertainment, educational tools, to visual representations of data analytics. Seneca C. itself has used Processing.js to create several educational games, including SpongeLab's award-winning Dragon Breeder, a game where players learn about and use the principles of Mendelian genetics, and Dirtle's Back Project, a web portal of interactive learning about the language and culture of Canada's Aboriginal peoples. Currently, an educational driving game focused on developing math skills with fractions is also in development. Elsewhere, Processing.js is used to display statistics and analytics in various forms, such as this look at the evolution of Facebook's privacy policy, and this live graph that shows, in real time, the amount of comments on a blog post throughout a day. It is also used in the visualization of math for educational purposes, shown in an example here where it is used to create curves from three mouse clicks in real time. Outside of the educational sphere, Processing.js is also used for its powerful graphical tools to allow users to create content and in some cases, such as Nervous.com, even purchase the creation of their digital content in physical form. But one of the grandest and most complex uses of Processing.js is with Khan Academy. The not-for-profit organization recently released a suite of educational resources focused on computer programming. The interactive learning module is based on Processing.js and was actually created by none other than John Resig, the man who started the Processing.js project in the first place. Khan Academy's computer programming learning environment takes students through the basics of programming while allowing them to create their own programs as they learn in what can only be described as an innovative and futuristic method of education. These are just a few of the examples of how Processing.js is being used with more being created every day. The proven technology is a good example of the potential of open source development and the impact that the hard work of CDOT developers is having on the world.